Hey, 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 hey. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Yeah, this is Mama Roxy Says, and I'm here for your wallet, your purses, and your pocketbooks, your hearts, and your minds. I hope everybody is having a wonderful uh, week. I hope y'all all are staying cool. I hope you all are moving around. Moving around, making your mind move around, getting yourself to move around, everything. Uh, as far as me, I'm still feeling like I did yesterday. I got a shortness of breath and everything, but I had to get on here today. Um, It's just been a, it's a lot of stuff going on right now, you know. As of yesterday, you know, um, my ex-husband, my husband, or whatever you want to call him, for over 20-something years, uh, birthday was yesterday, and you know, he passed on my birthday, um, and, uh, I don't know, he took me through hell, he did, but when he had those amazing amazing days y'all he had days oh my god he was the best man ever yup but when he had them days he was the terriblest man ever that you had to deal with but I dealt with it for a while and then I just got tired and couldn't deal anymore but being with somebody for so long going through all the trials and the tribulations and all that other stuff you um you got you have a bun you know we had a bun you know and uh it's only been like i think it's been almost a year two years i think this one yeah i think this is the second year or the third i think this is the second year and honey i'm still tripping out about this i'm not tripping is is that it sets off uh my depression for a little while um yes even yes I, I have depression and sometimes i have it real bad but i pick up my pen as i told y'all before and i start writing and and sometimes when you suffering from depression to me I don't know about everybody else. It's but when you suffering from depression, right, and you going through whatever it is that you're going through, or sometimes you could be doing so good, oh my God, and you have you have weeks, no, you have days, you have weeks, you have months where you don't let anything bother you, and that that be me, that be me. I I, I y'all know that. I come to y'all with the truth, and I tell you the truth all the time, and I tell you about what be ailing me, how I feel, what I'm going through. Hell, your kids take you through. They take you through. <laughs> Even when they get old, they still take you through it, because you want them to have the best. You don't want them to be out here scuffling and 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 going through some of the things that you went through. So you try your best to talk to them. You try your best to tell them. You try your best to do everything that you can as a parent, as a grandmother, as all of that, you know? Um. Now my kids are grown, and I don't let them bother me like that no more. I don't. I got too many issues that going on. Everybody's grown. But uh, when I couldn't figure it out, like yesterday, you beating, uh, I told y'all I made a video of this last year where uh, I talked to my brother and my brother told me that I was being selfish and I had to let him go. You know, even in, in your mind, your heart and your body, you do have to let go. You have to release. So I've done that. I did that. And... I've been so good with this. So, uh, this morning, 
I got up and I got my little book, a little journal that I write in. I could not figure out for the life of me why I just could not function. It was it, it was it was my body. Um, it was so many things going on with me. I just couldn't function. So my uh oldest son come in and I just want he came in and he was like, Mom, uh, my cousin passed and I was like, Oh my god, y'all his name was one and he was a wonderful young man. He went through his trials and tribulations. You all do when they're growing up. But he found his way, honey, and he did very well. And it's my oldest son's father. And I want to say uh, to the Gunn family, I am sending my condolences, my prayers, my hugs and love uh, for your loss of your son, your grandson, and your nephew. I love him as though he was my nephew, which he was. And I love you all still. So I'm hoping that y'all can get through and know that suffering is done and it's all right. You're going to always miss them. When you lose somebody, you're going to go through some tripped out time. You're going to go through some good ones. You're going to go through some bad ones. You're going to do everything. But, you know, in different cultures, in different religions, in different ways, they say that you are not supposed to mourn um, or walk around sad or hurt or whatever. When you lose someone, you are supposed to celebrate your life because they are no more going through the turmoil, the, the chaos, and everything that they were going through here on this earth. You know, now they up there with their other family members, God, and friends, and everything. So, you're not supposed to drill on that. So, you are supposed to celebrate once you lose life. You feel me? So, I, I do the celebrating. But then today, I was writing, and I Yesterday was my husband's birthday, and I still, still, it takes time. It's a process. It's a, it's a journey. It's everything, and and um, I still send my uh love to you, baby, up there, and and. To his grandma, you know, to his mom, which is my kid's grandma. Um, it's just one of them days, and I just been feeling really terrible. I do, and I think it's more so uh, dealing with my body, uh, and this with this coldness. Lord have mercy, Jesus. It's cold and my leg has gotten to the point where it's starting to get stuck again. It's stuck, you know, like if I'm in a position and it's stuck like this and that bone or whatever is gripped and it's sticking up and I'm trying to fight to get it loose. It's been a terrible night. Yes, it has been. My, my hip is killing me uh, right into that groove where your hip bone is. It's grinding and it hurts so bad. Right above your buttocks. Right above your butt. Right there where your back starts and your butt. Where your butt starts and your back connect. It's grinding all up in there. So nothing but pain today. Nothing but pain. <laughs> it's been one trip out a couple of days, but I'm hanging in here. I've been crying. I've been whining to myself. I don't like to whine to others. I hate that. So I'm not whining. I am going through a moment of um, celebration right now. 
even though I'm killing, my back is killing me. I'm hurting extremely bad, but I'm going through a moment of celebration. I took my bath in my shower, and I feel shiny, and I feel like it's, this too will pass. You know what I'm saying? This too will pass. All the pain, all the hurt, all the sadness, all the... The depression is this too will pass. You have to say it. You have to look in the mirror, which look in the mirror and say this too will pass. And it will. I I know it. I know it like it ain't nobody else's business. I can't. I always say I want my body back now. <laughs> I don't want my body back. I want I want myself back in better condition. That's what I want. Um, I I want better condition, a better condition, a better way. And I told my son when I get my leg back, being able to walk, I ain't sitting down for shit. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to sit down for shit. I'm going to get up. And everywhere I think that I can go, I'm going to go. Everybody I think I can see, I'm going to see. I'm going to do as much as I possibly can. Because, man, it's a struggle. And I'm struggling just like the rest of you. Some of us got it worse than others. And when I listen to people and they talk and, and I and I see people when I go to the store because I watch. I watch everything. I look at everybody. I see people struggling. Struggling, but they doing. They getting out there and they making it happen. That's the same way it is with me. I'm in a depression mode. But mm, you got to get out your head. You got to get out of it. I'm out of it. I'm getting out of it. I'm out. I'm out. Um, As far as the pain, I, <laughs> I'm trying. I'm going to defeat this too. Like I said, this too shall pass. It knocks me off of my natural self. You, you understand what I'm saying? It knocks me off of um, making my videos and staying on agenda. It knocks me off of um, making others feel good. You know, that's what I I strive to do. That I strive to bring a a. a a smile to your face. I strive for that. That makes me feel better. And when I get messages and they're like, oh, mama, I needed that. Or, oh, thank you. Oh, man, I know I, I'm doing my thing. But this is not one of them days, y'all. Uh, today is a keeping it real day. Um, I'm fighting a depression and it's bad today. But uh, it's called Get Out Your Head. And I'm getting out of there. I'm out of there. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. I'm going to uh, do something to this crazy office, y'all. It's a hot mess. It's stuff everywhere. I'm up. It's called Get Out Your Head. That's what I'm doing. I'm getting out my head. I refuse to that depression and take me down. I'm already fighting with so many other things right now. And depression, hell, you got to get out your head. And I'm getting out. I'm out. I'm out of it. But this pain shit, I just, I don't know what to do with that. I, I, every time I think I got a way, because I, I figure it out, right? I figure it out. I figure out ways to... Uh, knock down the hip pain by stretching out some, right? Or when my body, I got a, a habit of not sitting up straight. You feel me? Because 
I'm hurting, so you will slouch over. But when I'm going through that, I'll just straighten it out. Straighten it out. You know? So, I've been doing that. I, I, um, I'm doing it. I'm here, though. Thank God Almighty. I'm here to see another day. So, that's what I'm doing, boo. I'm here, y'all. I may not... I'm not on my regular program right now. I'm on the I'm on this. And it's letting you know that everybody's suffering from something. It's it's a lot of people suffering from depression and they don't know how to get a handle on it. I take a handle on my depression by talking and I say, get out your head, Roxy, right? so you two into your head. Yeah. I'm taking my journal and I'm writing in my journal and my journal is not doing it for me. Then that means I need a little bit more something more positive to do. So I will get up and if I can't like walk like I'm having a hard time walking, I got a sturdy seat. And I'll sit in that seat and I'm going to be scooting until I get out the head. And my body just going to follow along eventually. It happens that way. But I just want y'all to know that everybody is going through something. You are not by yourself. No matter how alone you feel through all the tragedies, through all the chaos, through all the pain, through all the voices, you, you are not by yourself. You are not by yourself and yes i have days where i can take on the world baby because that's what i am i'm a winner I'm, I'm i'm a child of god i'm created for the utmost highest things and you are too you are too i just felt like i had to get on here and i had to talk about what's ailing me right now hmm. i'm gonna sit back and watch some movies or something that's going to bring a smile to my face. Um, my grandkids are running a mug. Uh, talk to my daughters. Everybody fine. And my sons. Just talk to my mama. I got to call my daddy and my mama. And say hello. And my sisters. And my brothers. I love you all so much. My nieces and my nephews, y'all keep on taking this world by storm because that's what we do. Hmm. That's what we do. That's what we all do. That's what we do. You feel me? So yes, I'm I'm going through it right now. We all going through it. But honey, this too shall pass. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. I'm going to give you a high five. It's too short pass. And just know that mama wrapping her juicy arms around you. And I'm telling you. And I'm whispering in your ear. This too shall pass. Yes. 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 And I can only tell you this, baby. Because I'm going through it. And I know, like I know, that I'm in the palm of my God's hands. And he's letting me know for somehow that this too is going to pass. It always does. Hmm. It always does. But I love you. Even for my little super moms that's out there going to work, you're going to school, you're taking care of your kids, you're taking care of your husband, your man, your girlfriend. And... You feel lost. You can't figure out if you're coming or going. That's okay, baby. Sit down. Take a breather. Get you a cup of coffee. Hang you a glass of wine. Get some cold water. Drink some Kool-Aid. And relax. Everybody got days like this. You can't always do it all the time. For my dads that's out there and they doing your thing, dads. You taking care of kids, you cooking, you washing clothes, you doing this, you trying to keep up with the kids and attitudes and uh, maybe your baby mama or your girlfriend or your wife or the bills and whatever, whatever. Sit down, brother. 
Get a glass of beer, a glass of wine, or some coffee, some Kool-Aid, some juice, some water, whatever. Relax. Relax. Take a breather. And this too shall pass. You'll be back up on your where you're supposed to be at. Which all, we all go through moments like that, y'all. We all do. So if you're having a hard day, it's going to be all right. No matter what you got is. But this is Mama Roxy says, I love you. Y'all have a beautiful and blessed day. And to the gun family, I'm sending out all my prayers, hugs, kisses, and everything. God bless. Love y'all. Ciao.